Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making an update for my monitoring my TBR video series, I guess. My halving my physical TBR challenge. Update number two. How am I doing? That's what we will be talking about today. In 2022, I have challenged myself to half my physical TBR. It's something I blurted out in a video and I decided to go with. And since then I've been tracking my physical reading. I've also been tracking my book purchases, books I've been gifted and so on, DNFs, all of that to monitor my physical TBR. Because at the start of the year I was at 100 books, which meant at the time that I needed to read 50 books in order to half my physical TBR. That excluding the fact that I might add books to my physical TBR, which I definitely have. I made an update in April, I think, for the first quarter of the year, how I've been doing, and today we'll be getting the second update. At the time, and I also mentioned it in my previous update, the challenge wasn't really defined, <laughs> to be honest, so I wasn't really sure how to handle the fact that, well, I were also adding books to my physical TBR, so should it always be half of my highest number, or should, should it be half of the books I started here with? Like, I wasn't quite certain how to approach this, but I think some people in my comments told me that start with aiming for 50 books off your physical TBR, and then you can continue. And that seems very reasonable, actually. So my aim is still, just as it was at the start of the year, to read 50 books off my physical TBR. Today we're gonna talk numbers, we're gonna look at how many books I ended my previous update with, so how many books I had, and then books I read, books I've added, books I've been gifted, DNFs, and so on. And then we're gonna have a few more reflections and such. From the last update, it was concluded that I had 107 books on my physical TBR. 107 books is what I ended my previous update with. That's more than I started the year with even though I've been reading books of my physical TBR, so that's not the best. Since my previous update, I have read 12 books of my physical TBR, which I would say is actually pretty good. Up until update number one, I had read 10 books. I have now read another 12, making it a total of 22 books that I read of my physical TBR. I'm filming this in July, like closer to the end of July, so it's not even like at the halfway mark, like I'm more than halfway through the year, so perhaps at this point I should have read more than 25 books in order to have half of the books left. So I guess I'm not really keeping up with that if you consider it that way, but I'm happy that there's an increase in my book reading since my previous update, especially considering that I've also been slumping. I'm happy that that number is going up. Subtracting those 12 books from those 107 that I started this round with makes 95 books. So I should have 95 books on my physical TBR. It's not that easy, we know this, because of course I have added books to my physical TBR as well. If we first look at books I have purchased, I have actually in this period only purchased three books. That's all. From the middle of April until now, end of July, I've so far only purchased three books compared to, I don't know, like 20 books or something, how many I purchased last time. I'm very happy with that, actually. And I feel this is something I will reflect on later on, but as you might know, I also have a book buying game. And that one has sort of been helping me out. It didn't work out that well in the first update because of a book sale and stuff. And I have not really followed it to a T. I do feel like it's helping me be a bit more thoughtful with my book buying and I know I have this goal as well so I don't want to recklessly add to it. So I feel like all of these things combined that I'm trying to do this year in regards to my reading are actually really helping me out. I've been also utilizing my library a lot, especially for books I'm not certain I will enjoy since I don't really feel like spending a lot of money on books at the moment. I've been utilizing my library and it's been working great. So the three books I've purchased in this period are City of Dusk, Legends and Lattes, and also Elvis and Me. I'm quite happy actually with this selection. It has been intentional, I feel like, I think. In regards to my book buying ban, I have actually used prompts to purchase this, which is the entire point. This had the prompt of buying a book for a video, I did my huge May TBR participating in everything sort of video. This was a book club pick, that's why I purchased it. These two, when I first purchased them, I technically was not allowed to buy them because I had not really drawn any new prompts for them. I wanted to buy this one 
for my Elvis video that I think I recently uploaded actually. And in order to get free shipping, I needed to purchase something else. So that's when I added this book because it was one of the cheaper ones that were already on my wish list. They were not expensive, but I were not allowed to buy them technically. But I have since drawn a new book buying prompt, which you said $20. So basically 200 Swedish crowns, something like that. And these two books kind of adds up to 200 Swedish crowns. I think it was like 230 Swedish crowns. So kind of $20 actually. So I'm retroactively using that book buying prompt for these ones. I've been allowed to purchase all of these books, is my point. Those are the three books I have purchased, but I've also been very fortunate because I have very kindly been gifted books these last couple of months as well. So I've been gifted a total of four books in this period and I'm always grateful for any gifts. I highly appreciate it. So I, I just want to shout these ones out. The first book I was gifted was Sword of Cayenne. I won Kevin's giveaway for the Globetrotterathon. So this was what he gifted me. It's a huge adult fantasy in the published and I'm super excited about it. And then also Kirsty from KBet Bookish. She sent me a very bookish lovely package with some candles I had ordered and she added three books to that. So those are the four books I have been gifted. So let's do some maths again because we were at 95 books and then I have purchased three. I've been gifted four which adds up to 102 books. There is one final category of books that have been added to my physical TBR, and that's my Illumicrate books. I have a Illumicrate book only subscription, and I also started the Afterlight subscription. I am really enjoying these subscriptions actually, like they are a bit of a highlight during the month uh, to receive those book packages. But the thing is like, I need to think about if these subscriptions are worth it. Like it costs a lot for books I'm not rushing to read. I don't know, like how, how do you feel with these subscriptions? The Illumicrate subscription ends up about 30 euros a month for me for only one hardback book. That's quite a lot. Although they are special editions, sometimes they are signed. For example, the August book I am super excited about because that is Babel by RF Kong and like I want a special edition for that one. So sometimes it's definitely worth it. Some months you also get double the books, like in January. I am very conflicted regarding this. With the Afterlife subscription, I have only had one box so far. It was all right. I need another one to think about it a bit more, but I might just keep this up for the rest of the year and then I might consider to cancel my subscriptions. I'm not certain, okay? I have no clue. Please share your thoughts, I guess. But yeah, I'm very quickly gonna share the five books I received in book boxes. We have Gallant, which I've actually read. For once, I have read one of my Illumicrate books, so that's pretty good. We have Book of Night. You made a fool of death with your beauty. I think I've been showing off books on the wrong side because I feel like I have more space here, I think. So I'm sorry if the books have been cut off. Portrait of a Thief and also We All Fall Down. Those are the five books I received in subscription boxes and those also add up to my physical TBR, of course. So adding five, we're now at 107 books. Hey, that's the number we started this video with. So basically, I read 12 books of my physical TBR, but I've also added 12 books to my physical TBR. But I'm gonna add another change to this and that is I am DNFing a couple of books or unhauling. Just a few ones, but still. So the books that I'm unhauling are We All Fall Down. There's been a lot of drama, controversy around this book. I didn't really realize that before I received it. I don't really have any emotions about this one either way, so that's fine. Another book I've decided to unhaul is The Betrayals by Bridget Collins. I This was mainly a cover buy because it's beautiful underneath the dust jacket. That is why. It looks like this underneath the dust jacket, so it's been on my pretty shelf. It's never gonna be read, so might as well try and sell it. And the third one, which is a book I started reading, was not enjoying and don't want to pick up again, is Stöld, which is a Swedish book. I purchased this for a specific readathon. I read about 150 pages and I was bored. I did not enjoy it. I did not care for it. I don't want to pick this up again, so I'm getting rid of it. So those are three books that I'm unhauling. So if we subtract those three from those 107 books, that means that we're now at 104. We're still above the hundreds. We're still at more books than I started the year with, but it's at least lower than my previous update. So what are some of my thoughts? So I do feel that my book buying this last couple of months have definitely been more intentional. 
I've also constrained myself a bit more. I feel like there were so many books that were being released by the start of the year and then for the second quarter not as many books that I've been interested in have been released. Most of them are being released in August so I know I'll probably get a bunch of books in August again. So I feel like I'm definitely being more intentional with my book buying, which is great, I think. So even though my book buying game might not always work, it's still making me do a double take before I order or purchase a book. That being said, like I still love buying books. I still love receiving books. I'm still gonna keep doing that. My prediction for the next quarter update is that I'll probably end up at a much higher number because as I said, many books that I'm excited about are being released in August. And also, it's my birthday in September. I'm guessing from either friends, family, booktube, I don't know where or how, I'm guessing a couple books might end up on my physical TBR because of that. So I think for my next quarter update, I will have a bunch more books added. In regards to reading, I am super duper excited about my reading, actually. I am. I'm very optimistic, as I always am, <laughs> about the upcoming month, about August. I have a great August TBR that you perhaps have seen, and most of the books on that TBR are from my physical shelf. I feel, because I'm now being more intentional with my book buying, I do feel like I have a very good curated selection on my shelves of books I actually think I will enjoy, and books that I am excited about. And I love having a variety of books, so I still like to have books that will challenge me, that I'm not certain what I will feel about, but also having those like, I, I'm convinced that it's gonna be a four or five star. I like to have the mix, the options on my shelves. Uh, but I do feel like now, when I'm slowly but surely unhauling a couple of books every other month, I feel like I'm getting a great selection of books for me on my shelves, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm very happy with the selection I have on my shelves. I'm always excited to add to it too. Like it's fun. Book buying and book giving and gifting and purchasing and all of that is fun, okay? It's a hobby in itself. As I said at the start of this video, my aim is gonna be to read 50 books off my physical TBR this year. I'm going with the number that I started the year with, which was 100 books, meaning I need to read 50 books. At the current moment, I have read 22 books of my physical TBR. So if we subtract 28 books from 104, it means I will have 76 books left on my physical TBR. As I said, I think books will be added to this. Basically, my goal at the end of the year will be to have a maximum of 100 physical books on my TBR. So I'm gonna aim for those 50. I'm gonna aim to continue to read at least 28 books of my physical TBR. It doesn't seem that impossible for some reason. I don't know if I'm just being overly optimistic. As I said, I've been reading more of my physical TBR. I'm being more considerate with that. I'm really trying. As long as I don't really go into any major reading slumps during the rest of the summer and the fall and winter, I think I will be all right. So that's the update for my halving my physical TBR challenge. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please take care and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what